Hey, Jarek here and welcome to Ember's Kit. And for today I have prepared this piece of ember from the Baltic region. And yeah, we will be the first ones to see what kind of secrets this piece holds. I have the illuminator ready, it will help me expose what's inside the ember. I made it wet for a purpose to see better inside. And let's see what does it show us. Yeah, I see stuff inside, but <laughs> this is too bright. Let's give a little less light. And now you should see what I see. Yeah, this looks like an ant. And there is some other stuff I see there as well. So I'm expected, uh, expecting at a minimum an ant. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, the target acquired, we don't need this anymore. Now we need to be careful, but ant is neatly in the middle, so I will just scrape off from two sides these crusty layers of amber to reveal it better. And yeah, for that we will be using, as always, Dremel. The summer has begun and it was really hot in my apartment, so I had a choice to move to my sister's friend and there is like a lot chillier outside, so yeah, I will be working here and this is, will be my workstation. Right here, on this table, the magic will happen. <laughs> let's go! Yeah, so right off the bat, let's remove this layer. Benefits of having budget setup is that I can work anywhere. My tools are very compact. So that layer is gone. It was fast. Let's remove now this crust from the top. And this crust from the top. Okay, we have one side smooth. I will make it wet now, so you can see better. There we go. Next, what I will do, I will actually take right now the sandpaper, because it's now very blurry, and I want to see exactly where the ant is. So yeah, let's make it a little bit pre-polished, so I can see uh, inside better. It is called a window. Okay, we did pre-polish it, and now we have this arc right here, and the ant looks very distorted, that means we have to smoothen out this place so it will be flat, because it will be a big problem when making photos for this ant. Yeah, this is distorted from this side, we see it well, and from the front, terrible. So yeah, let's smoothen it out and try again. much better but we now have this crack in front of the ant <laughs> mm. I'm not sure if it's if I can remove this crack because the ant is quite close like I will fall, remove the leg if I will try to remove this crack so now let's try to reveal it from the other side yeah. and we will see maybe from this side there is no crack and ant will be nicely visible so I don't have to remove this from this side. Okay, 
the dream lake is basically done and now is the moment of truth let's see if, if it has the crack from the other side as well then we will know what to do next Okay, so long story short, there is a layer from this other side as well. Can you see it? There it is, the long one. But it is a lot better than from the, this side. Yeah, so meaning I will try to remove this layer from the top of an ant so we can see the ant better for the pictures. But it will be a risky business, basically playing with fire. And yet, let's go for it. I removed as much material from top as possible, but as we can see, there is a layer that goes through the ant itself, and nothing much can be done about it. Layer most likely did form when the ant got trapped in sticky raisin and was trying to escape. Unfortunate fate for sure, but because of that we can admire this little critter millions of years later. And I'm back home and everything that's left is pre-polishing and making some good photos so let's not waste any time and finish it up. Finally, the result is here. This is quite thin, weights a bit over 3 grams. We have pleasant citrus color. So all of these points are nice and good, but there is one negative. The layering around the ant itself, which as expected got in the way of making pictures. And naturally, pictures didn't turn out amazing but ant itself is fantastically preserved considering how old it is. But it's hard to, to ID it because of the layering. My guess would be species, species Yantaromyrmex, because of extra long antennas. But I could be wrong. So yeah, that's it for the video, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time, bye!